Hi guys, so just a really quick Instagram video. I'm gonna show you guys the lock method. So the curly girl slash afro hair method that you would use to lock in moisture um, for your hair. And so this is called the lock method, which is where you put in the leave-in oil cream, or you put a leave-in cream and then an oil. And this is a process that you do to lock in moisture and to maintain the hair throughout the week until the next time you wash your hair. So I'm gonna show you the products. So it's shampooed and conditioned with these lovelies from Cream in Nature. So I've used these two lovelies here to shampoo and condition. So now I'm gonna show you the lock method and show you what you would do um, after you've washed your hair. The thing I'm gonna do, just so you guys can see the difference of what it would look like, I'm gonna part down the middle. So I'm gonna use this. Ooh, see how tangly it can get, guys, if you don't sort it out. That's what will happen. It's the thing with this hair, you can never see what you're doing. Okay, so there we go. We parted it into two, and I'm gonna leave uh, one side how it is, and I'm gonna show you the other side once I've done the lock method. So I'm gonna just get a hairband. Really recommend you guys get hairbands like this. No, no, no like metal bit here, no snaggy bit, and no, like say like this material, this is hurtful. This will cause breakage and dents and stuff like that. And this one is spongy and soft and it really stretches for Afro hair. So I recommend you get some of these. So I'm gonna tie this side up. You can see already that's quite dry. It looks cute, but it's dry, okay? So I'm gonna just tie it down so you guys can see this. There it is. I'm gonna tie this part up temporarily like this. tie this part up. Right, so then what you're gonna do, you're gonna get this bit at the back, and I'm gonna show you exactly what you would do. The leave-in, which is this one, which is the kinky curly leave-in, so leaving the oil, which is the um, Argan Oil of Morocco um, Weightless Reviving Dry Oil from OGX. So I'm gonna use the oil, and then I'm gonna use a cream, cream slash styler, either one, um, and I'm going to use the Cantu Define and Shine Custard. I'm going to do this tiny section here and I'm going to show you the difference. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to use your water bottle just to refresh the hair because like I said it's dry. If it was already wet from, if I just washed it I wouldn't need to use the water bottle. It's just because I haven't washed, I washed it ages ago now. I'm adding again, leave-in oil cream. Okay, so I'm going to take this first section here like this. Okay, first section here like this. You can see the hair right here, how it is. It's separated, it's dry, it's not defined. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put some of this in. So I just got a little bit on my hand here. I, you don't really need that much because it's such a small section, but I'm used to doing it in big sections. So as you see, you just pull it through the hair like this, finger to tangle it through, like this. So the finger to tangle it through. Get it through the whole, the whole bulk of the hair. Um, they're already starting to pop without any styler or anything on it. This is just a little bit of, um, it's just a little bit of a leave-in. A touch of the oil. Let's put a tiny tad throughout just to lock in the moisture, especially the roots. Add loads of the roots and then like, quite a particular amount at the ends. So that's my oil in. So as you can see, don't put too much, just kind of pat it on. Don't like make it too oily sort of thing. So especially at the roots and then particularly here. And the next thing we're gonna do, you get the cream and you just kind of brush it through like this. You style it. Like that. And then you can just make them curls pop, make them shiny, glossy and defined like that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish this section and I'm going to speed this up so you guys can just see how I do it and I'm just going to show you how, how effortless it kind of is so So 
as you can see, this side is really defined, it's moisturized, it's glossy, it's shiny. And as you can see on this side, if I take it out, this side is still cute, but you know, it's very dry, it's lifeless, it's not separate, it's um, separated, um, and it's not like brought together like this. This is like, this is like healthy looking and glossy, and this side just looks a little bit dry, you know? Afro hair is beautiful and curly hair is beautiful. It's just that it needs to be taken care of in a way that is different to how straight hair is taken care of. But if you guys want to see any more curly hair tips or any more uh, tutorials or videos or um, any like written reviews, product reviews and stuff like that, then check out my website, which is www.curlyhairdiscoveries.com. Have a nice day.